Hey crypto fans or NFT fans, thanks for joining me here on Altcoin Radar. My name is Garrett and today I am going to show you guys how to buy and sell Solana NFTs, um, you know, and make some profit along the way. So guys, if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoy the content that I create, then as always guys, go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out and why not, right? Um, and also guys, hey, feel free to follow me on Twitter here as well. You can find the link to it in the description below the video. I like to talk about altcoins, NFTs, day trading, you know, all sorts of, you know, crypto, cool crypto stuff and whatnot on a daily basis. So, hey, if you guys are into that sort of thing, might as well go ahead and give me a follow because I'm just going to continue to grow more and more long term anyway. So, all right, guys. So, holy cow, it's bright in here. <laughs> Sorry, I got these two lights, you know, sh shining on me right here that, uh, really just get on me. Anyway, um, all right, guys. So the first thing I want to talk about real quick before we actually dive into this stuff is I really want to talk about, you know, flipping NFTs because here's the thing, you guys, I'll be honest. I'll be completely honest with you guys here, all right? Trading NFTs is extremely risky, okay? I mean, it's more risky to me personally. It's more risky than trading altcoins. And the reason why is simply because, I mean, the NFT market is just so bipolar, it's not even funny. I mean, literally things can change at the... At, at the snap of your fingers. I mean, and the reason why is because there are so many NFT projects out there now, it's not even funny. So I just want to say that real quick. It is extremely risky to trade and try to flip NFTs. I know it sounds easy. Um, you probably see a lot of people do it. You probably see a lot of people, you know, talk about doing it and whatnot, but it's really not as easy as you think, okay? Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, also, guys, the other th thing that I wanted to tell you guys is, uh, you know, honestly, I mean, to be truthfully honest, honest with you guys, um, you know, you'll make a lot more money trading altcoins than you would NFTs. I mean, again, you can take a stab at it and give it, you know, give it your best shot. I'm going to show you how to do it, you know, the best possible way here in this video. But uh, overall, you guys, you know, if you want to make the most potential profits, I mean, hey, you can make a lot more money trading altcoins than you can NFTs. That's for darn sure. Um, I mean, especially if you're just starting out and you don't have much money. Now, if you do have a lot of money, I mean, you can probably make a lot more from NFTs um, than altcoins. But, uh, you know, realistically, though, you guys, most people who are watching this video probably don't have more than like $1,000 to spend on NFTs, maybe even not even that. So, I mean, realistically, um, you'd make a lot more in the altcoin market, you know, with that than you would the uh, NFT market. And at the end of this video, I will show you a video. Um, at the end of this video, you'll see a video on my end screen that that will show you, you know, a, a basic guide on how to, you know, simply day trade altcoins very easily. So, all right, guys, uh, enough of this mumble jumble crap, okay? We're going to talk about flipping NFTs now, all right? So, um, as you guys can see um, up here, the, the, only, the only Solana NFT marketplace that we're going to be using today that I'm going to be showing you guys uh, um, different stuff on is... I mean, I'm going to show you, obviously, I'm going to be showing you different stuff on Magic Eden, digital, Digitalize, and Soulsea and whatnot. Um, I'm not really, well, I could do Alpha Art, but I'm really not going to. It's too new. Um, but the reason why I'm mainly going to be using Solanart, you guys, is simply because Solanart is, like, it's pretty much the most bug-free, okay? I mean, I, pretty much every time I try to use Magic Eden or Digitalize or Soulsea, I always run into some kind of some kind of BS bug that just like really annoys me or just something doesn't load or just something dumb happens. But on Solinar, everything is very smooth, simple, easy to use, and their website's just very nice. It's just simple. Um, so we're going to be using uh, Solinar for this, you guys. All right, guys. So guys, the very first thing you guys want to do is you want to go to solanalysis.com, okay? It's literally right here, solanalysis.com, okay? Super easy. You can't get it wrong. All right. So when you get to solanalysis.com, you're going to obviously here, we'll, we'll reload the page to a brand new page so that we're all on the same page here. <laughs> all right. So that's the very first thing you want to do. Open soul analysis. All right. Um, so the next thing you guys want to do is you want to open up all the major um, Solana NFT marketplaces as well. Now, obviously, guys, I just got done telling you that I'm only going to be using Solanar here. I mean, you can use Magic Eden or Digitalize or Soulsea or um, I don't have an open right now, but Alpha Art as well. And there's a, a few others you could use as well. But for the sake of flipping NFTs, you want the most volume possible, and you're probably going to get the most volume from from Solanart, to be you know, in all honesty. So, um, you know, if the project is on Solanart, anyway. Um, all right, guys. So 
here's what you're going to do. Now that you've got, you know, soul analysis open and you've got all of the uh, all of the marketplaces open and whatnot, okay, the very first thing you guys want to do is you want to look for the key here is, you guys, in my personal opinion, um, now everybody's going to tell you something different. Trust me, they will. Every single person is going to tell you how to trade uh, NFTs a different way. Um, and that's okay. Everybody's got their own strategy. It's okay to have other strategies than other people. I'm just showing you my strategy, okay? So here's what I do. It's very, very simple. You simply want to look for projects with a super high trading volume and a low floor in the secondary market, okay? So you want high trade volume, low floor in the secondary market, okay, guys? And honestly, there's two ways of doing this. You can either do projects that, um, you can either work about, you can either work with projects that are, you know, upcoming and they're brand new, but that's going to be very risky because everybody knows a new NFT project in the secondary market is extremely volatile. And you don't want to deal with that. You want something that's been out for a little while and something that is more easygoing. Um, it's just a lot easier to work with. So that those are the kinds of ones we're going to talk about today is the ones who's, that's, you know, been around for, you know, at least two weeks after mint. Okay. So guys, the very first thing you want to do again, you want to find high volume projects with a low floor simply because the majority of people that are trying to buy and sell NFTs, they're usually people with little amounts of money. Okay. Uh, which is why you want low floor, uh, which is why you want low floor projects. Okay. Those are going to be the ones that are going to be super easy. Um, I don't want to say super easy because I can't guarantee anything, obviously, but those are the ones that are going to be, you know, next to, you know, they're going to be pretty easy to flip or easier than bigger ones to flip. Okay. And again, guys, simple reason why is because the more majority of people that are trading nfts on solana you know like i said they don't have more than a thousand dollars to spend with if if that even so um you know that that that's where the low floor comes in as far as you know why you want to pick stuff with low floors um now when i'm talking low floor you guys i'm talking anything from like 0.1 sol um or even less than that if it if it exists um but anything from like 0.1 sol all the way up to like i mean gosh i don't know maybe 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 two or four SOL, um, depending on the current price of SOL. Um, but I would say anything from like, you know, 0.1 SOL all the way up to maybe three, I would say three SOL, um, you know, if you can find a good project to, to trade then. Um, so that's what, that's what you want to do. Okay. If I hope you guys are taking notes here. Um, so guys, here's what you want to do. All right. We are going to actually look for, um, we're gonna actually look for a project here, okay? So I've got Soul Analysis open here, and again, guys, the very first thing you want to do, you know, filter this by filter this by floor price, okay? Look for, um, you know, keep clicking it until you find it, until it starts with the lowest uh, lowest floor prices, okay? Now, what you want to do is you scroll down, okay? We're, so we're gonna scroll down. Uh, I don't know why these all say not available. But here, we're going to get into the ones that start with 0 0.01, okay? Or 0 0.10, all right? So here's the thing. We got Gyaku Gods. I don't know. I can't pronounce that. Okay, we're going to go with the next one. We're going to go with kid, Kiddo Monkeys, okay? Um, so, I mean, Kiddo Monkeys, I mean, that would probably be, um, let's see here. I mean, it's got a low floor, okay? It's got a low floor, but the price change in the last 24 hours, it hasn't really changed much at all. Um, the volume in the last seven days has only been $271 worth of SOL. So that's really not that much at all. There's not much trade volume going on here. Um, and same with the volume change in the last 24 hours. It's, it's I mean, 17.49%. But again, guys, within the last seven days, 271 SOL, that's really not that much at all. So we don't want to be, we don't want to mess with that one. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Let's see if we can find another good, or see if we can find a good one. I'm mainly looking for, I want both of these, the price change percentage in the last 24 hours and the volume change percentage in the last 24 hours. I want both of these to be in the green. Okay. So obviously when we come down to like space sharks, okay. So space sharks, this looks pretty decent. Okay. I mean, honestly, I mean, it doesn't look bad at all to me. The floor 0.1 SOL. Um, we've got a price change that's in the green, um, uh, means that it's active. People are buying it and the volume in the last seven days, it's over $2,000. I mean, $2,000 worth of 0.1 SOL, um, NFTs. That's really not that bad at all for people who have, you know, a small amount of money to work with. Um, and then the volume change in the last 24 hours is over 20%. So I'm, that's really not too bad. So guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and check this out. Okay. We are, so we found one that we want to work with. Okay. So space sharks, we'll click on it. We'll go ahead and we'll check it out. Space Sharks, let's see where they're at. Where are they listed? So they are listed on Solonart, Magic Eden, Exchange Art, and Digitalize. Um, I don't know if they're on there. It says they're on Solonart. Let's see if they are. 
Okay, so we'll, we will open up a new tab and we will check for space sharks. Space sharks. Um, I'm not finding anything for space sharks on Solonart. Okay, so we will go ahead and check Magic Eden. Um, so we'll check Magic Eden for space sharks. There they are. All right, so here's the space sharks, you guys. Okay, um, their mint price or their... Um, Sorry, what do you call it? Their, uh, what am I trying to get at here, you guys? Uh, their floor price says 0.1 SOL, obviously, but on Magic Eden, it's 0 0.07, so that's even better to deal with because um, that's even cheaper here. Um, now, let's see here, you guys. Now, the next thing we want to look at now that we found it is we want to see, um, these kind of remind me of galactic geckos in a way, but, you know, uh, you know, and with, with sharks kind of, but it's kind of cool. Anyway, um, let's see here. So we're going to check the activity and see how active it's been. So obviously we can see here, you guys, in the last 24 hours, there's been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's been 10 sales. I mean, they're really, that's not too bad, but that's really not the kind of sales that we're looking for you guys. We want more sales that are more active than this. Okay. Um, this isn't very active at all. So see, that's what, another thing you got to look at, you guys. You don't want to pick projects that are not very active in sales, okay? So clearly, we don't want to look at this one, all right? So as you guys can see by what we've been looking at so far, you guys, there's a whole lot of planning that goes into this. There's a whole lot of things you have to look at in order to pick the right projects to get into. You can't just find a random projects like a random project like Solana Giraffe business and be like, oh, I like those. I'm going to try to trade them and then go try to trade them blindly because, guys, it's not going to work. It's just it's simply not going to work. Um, you really need to look into this and you really need to do your homework and do your research. Um, but obviously, you guys, we can see here that um, Space Sharks, you know, because, I mean, yeah, it, the numbers seem, you know, okay and decent, but, uh, you know, sale as far as sales go and whatnot, the sales really aren't, um, they're just not there, okay? So we're here, instead of soul analysis, because I'm not really finding anything offhand or anything like that. And this is what's cool here, you guys. You don't have to use just soul analysis, okay? You can go to Solonart and come to their stats page, which is where we're, we're going to actually go. So we're going to leave soul analysis because I'm not finding anything worthwhile on there right now. Uh, we're going to go to Solonart. We're going to go on the stats page, stats page, and we are going to filter by floor, okay? So we're going to filter by the floor and go to the cheapest ones obviously and we are going to find stuff with a high volume percentage in the last 24 hours um, and you know in the last seven days make sure it's decent and then we're going to check you know the sales chart and see if there's been a decent amount of sales in the last 24 hours okay it's literally that simple okay so let's check um let's see here in seven days it's only traded for us well that's really not much at all um, 320. Ooh, this one's, this one's not bad. This one's okay. This one is great. Actually, this is a great, I, I like this one. This one looks good. Okay. So 320, 328% price change, uh, increase or percentage in the last 24 hours, guys, in the last seven days, 23,000, $23,000 worth of it has been traded 155 SOL. That's really not bad at all. Um, and then their market cap is $7.4 million. That, that's nuts. You guys, um, uh, with a super low floor of, you know, 0 0.30. Okay. So we are going to click on this and we're going to check this out. So clearly, oh, come on here. Okay, so let's see here. So these are fractals, okay? So obviously, let's say you were to buy this one, okay? Now let's see here. We're going to check latest sales. Nice, you guys. This is awesome. Okay, so clearly we already we can already see sales. We got tons of sales from even just one minute ago and then a sale at five minutes ago and then 27 minutes ago. Um, there's clearly over... I mean, gosh, guys, 12 hours ago, 13, 15, 16, there's, guys, there's over 50 sales here in the last, in the last 24 hours. This is an active project. People are buying this project right now, okay? So this is one that would be a solid one to look into to actually try to flip, okay? Now, here's what you want to do, okay? Now, to flip something like this, what you'd want to do is literally... I mean, I mean, literally, don't sit here and look through all of the, all of, all of them and, you know, try to pick whatever one you want, okay? You don't want to do that because it really doesn't matter. You're not here for the art, okay? You're here to try and make a flip, all right? So what you want to do is you want to just take the cheapest one, or that's what I usually do, take the cheapest one, buy it for 0 0.30, okay? And then what you want to do is, here's the thing, you guys, this is the part where people mess up the most, okay, is they get too greedy, okay? You do not want to get greedy, okay? Let's say you buy this at 0.3 SOL, 
Okay, great, that's awesome. Now, you have to make a percentage. You have to think about a good percentage, a good profit percentage that you wanna make from each NFT sale. I mean, you don't wanna go haywire and be like, oh, I wanna make 20% on this, because that's realistically, that's not gonna happen, you guys. Um, realistically, you should probably try to turn this around and go ahead and try to sell it for, you know, you buy it for 0.3, Try to turn it and sell it for 0.35. I mean, honestly, that's exactly how you should do things. That's how you need to do things. If you want to try to trade or flip NFTs and make a good profit from it in the long term, you need to start small and work your way up, you guys. I mean, seriously, buy for buy for a small amount, sell for a, you know a slightly higher amount. You're still making profit. No, it's not a thousand dollars extra, but it's profit, you guys. Profit is profit. You don't want to get greedy. Um, so you have to keep that in mind as well. So. Obviously, you guys, um, you know, that seems pretty easy, um, and it really is, honestly. I mean, there's, I can't guarantee you, you know, when it's going to sell or anything like that, but your best chances for it to sell, and your best chance for success is to pick the cheapest one um, that, the pick the cheapest one that's listed and, you know, try to flip it for a small amount higher than that. So overall, you guys, um, we've gone through quite a bit here. I know this video is getting very long, but we've gone through quite a bit. Uh, we talked about the, the way to look into different NFTs to figure out which ones are the best to look into, you know, try to flip. Um, we've looked into um, how to flip it, um, you know, how to, you know, make sure you don't stay greedy and stuff or make sure you don't make sure you're not greedy about it and whatnot. So um, overall, guys, I feel like I've uh, I feel like I've given you enough information to where you can go off on your own and uh, figure it out from here. But um, overall, you guys, you have to make sure that it's a low floor. You have to make sure that there's enough volume trading. You have to make sure it's an active project. So those are really the biggest key factors. That really, they really are, you guys, until you start getting into having you know more money to deal with. Obviously, if you've got like 100 SOL to deal with, then the story completely changes, okay? Um, but you know, for now, for people out there who don't have much money to deal with, this is how you do it. So, all right, guys, that's gonna pretty much do it for this video. So I will go ahead and wrap this one up. Uh, but again, guys, before you guys leave, don't forget to uh, follow me here on Twitter with the link in the video description down below. And also guys, go ahead and take a minute to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a daily basis. And hey guys, with that said, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you guys in my future videos or chatting with me here on Twitter.